What's up, peace, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. If it's your first time tuning into the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. And also make sure y'all click that notification bell button. So anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now your girl Tamar is definitely in full on diva mode. So some of y'all may have known, man, she did sign on to play a role in Snoop Dogg's play, man, Redemption of a Dog. You know what I'm saying? And apparently, little mama got hungry. She called one of her friends up to come bring her some food. She said she ain't want that set food. She wanted something good. She wanted something greasy. So she hit up a homeboy, Lionel B, and was like, hey, bring me some food. You know what I'm saying? But Lonnie B did the damn thing. He went and got the food. But when he showed up, man, they would not let the dude inside. So Tamar got real offensive. She got pissed off. And she like, well, fuck it. I ain't finna do the rest of this show. As a matter of fact, I'm going to quit the whole entire show. So I understand, man, being hungry and all that, but damn, you're just going to walk out of the whole entire show. Now, what it was, man, they had a little 30-minute intermission, and that 30-minute intermission actually turned into a one-hour intermission. And from there, you know what I'm saying, when that person came back that was supposed to be uh, played by Tamar Braxton, it was somebody completely different, man, and the audience was pissed off, man. They like, what the hell's going on? And people started tweeting like, yo, we know that's not her. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was talking real loud, you know what I'm saying, acting a fool, man, because, you know, they paid money to see Tamar Braxton, so they like, yo, what the hell's going on here? How you gonna try to switch out on us like that, man? So, you know what I'm saying? The dude, Lonnie B, man, he was basically saying, yo, pray for my friend. She's going through something right now and all of this right here. I mean, what's she going through? Hunger? You know what I'm saying? I know she got a little issue. She got fired, you know, from, from the real. It's been a lot of things going on with her, man. But, you know, you know what I'm saying? I feel like she had another opportunity to do something good. So why would you wreck it over some damn food? I mean, you still got your food, but your friend just wasn't able to, you know what I'm saying, bring it through or whatever. I guess you wanted him to be backstage and all that. But... You know what I'm saying? If they have rules to where, you know, they don't want nobody back there, you got to, you know what I'm saying? Respect those people's rules, man. You can't be going against the grain, man, just because you feel like you Tamar Braxton and you run shit, man. Come on, now. You dare to get a bag. Like, you tripping. So, you know what I'm saying? I got exclusive footage, man, with Lonnie B. He's talking about the entire situation. Of course, he's trying to defend his friend. He's saying, yo, I appreciate you, but damn, like, I didn't want you to lose your damn job behind me. You know what I'm saying? It was just a damn sandwich. Like, it wasn't even that deep to me. You know what I'm saying? So he's kind of like being the voice of reason, but Tamar's on one. Here go the footage right here. Girl, sit down. Sit the fuck on down. Yes, let me tell you what happened, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, minding my business in my house, shaking my ass, dancing. My pajamas. Yes, you know, getting ready. You know, because I had to do a competition later on that day. All right? I had to judge a competition, a model's competition. So anyway... As I'm getting ready, I get a phone call. It was from Tamar People. Hit me up. Hey, Lonnie, what you doing? Tamar want to see you. She's in town. I said, okay, well, I got other things to do. How long is she going to be here? You know? Because, you know, we all got plans and shit that we got set up for today. You know what I'm saying, bitch? You just can't throw a mo monkey wrench in a bitch plan, bitch. Okay? Unless you tell me Michael Jackson risen from the dead, bitch. Then I'll stop what the fuck I'm doing and go see him moonwalk. Bitch, okay? Good morning. Okay, here we go. So, anyway... I said, okay, well, if I can squeeze it in, I will. So, I'm on my way to get this head dig, bitch. Yes, good morning. So, as I'm on my way going to get my head dig and shit, I notice I'm going to pick up something to eat. And, you know, Tamar people said, hey, Lonnie, Tamar's looking for a good curry out. Okay? She don't want that fancy shit, bitch. She want a good ghetto sandwich, bitch. I said, ooh, a steak and cheese. So I said, okay, send me what she want on her sandwich and I'll bring it to her. You know, if time prevents itself. Play started at 3.30. I'm finished what I'm doing around about 2.57. I'm going to be late. They text me and say, Lonnie, where you at? I said, look, bitch, you called me at the last minute. I'm on my way. They said, bitch, okay. I said, okay. I go to the car, y'all, I get the sandwich. I'm on my way down there to the Warner Theater. I said to myself, bitch, I'm not driving down the Warner Theater. Let me Uber. So I got me an Uber. Got an Uber, went down to the Warner Theater. Got to the Warner Theater. Got to the backstage area. There was a bodyguard there. Snoop Dogg's bodyguard. Bitch, big as the building. I grabbed my mace quick. Okay? I didn't know who the fuck that was. 
Okay, ain't no shirt say security, bitch. He had on regular clothes, bitch. He was just big. I know if it was a man back there wandering, bitch, okay? Looking for cars to break in, bitch. I didn't know. So anyway, he said, Lonnie B. I said, oh, look at God. Oh, look at God. The Lord protects his gay son. Lonnie B. I said, good morning. Look at God. He said, man, I can't believe it. He said, man, I love you, my girl. She watches you. And when we was together, we used to watch you all the time. Man, I love you. If you ever need security, I said, go ahead, down. Go ahead, down. I thought I might need it right now. Shit, when I walked up to you, bitch, you are one of the Twin Towers. It's a third one, and you are it, bitch. Seriously, walking around D.C. Anyway, so he was like, yeah, yeah. I said, is this the back door to the Warner Theater? He said, yeah, because I had to go to the back door. He said, yeah. I said, I'm waiting for Tamar people to come and let me in because I'm coming to see Tamar. He said, come on in. Okay? But staying right here. I'm going to let you stand right here not before you won't stand in the cold. But you stand right here on the outside of the metals detective so I can go get them because we just can't let anybody in here. I said, okay. So he went to go get one of Tamar people. But the person he went to go get was working with Tamar at the time on the side of the stage. And the play have already started. So she's going in and out doing her cues. And they got to be beside her as she do whatever she do. So I understood that. So as I'm standing up, one of the guys, he said, oh, you can come over here and have a seat right here. I said, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. So I sat on down. So they said to me. Yeah, you know, the show started at three. I said, yeah, but I had other engagements. You know, my grandfather, he comes first. I said it just like that, bitch. Oh, he said, oh, I understand that, and I respect you for saying it, okay? Elderly guy, elderly guy. I said, thank the fuck out of you. Good morning. Bitch, the world stops when granddaddy need a bitch. Thank you. Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck who you are. Yeah. So anyway, I'm sitting there. Five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen 25 minutes. Here comes Tamar's assistant. Hey, Lonnie. I said, hey. He bent over and whispered to me. I can't let you in. I said, oh, okay. Well, here's the sandwich. He said, they won't let you in. The owner of the play won't let you in. I said, that's fine. Here's the sandwich. He said, Tamar's heated. I said, okay. See y'all later. Bitch, I'm going to sit here for. Okay, I can't get it. I got to go. You know, I can't get it. I got to go. And you know, people that was in the play was coming back and forth where we were. And they was noticing who I am. Hey, Lonnie B, let's take a picture. Okay? And that's why you see me taking a picture of one of the guys that was in the play. He got the microphone, you know, on his lip and shit like Paula Abdul and Bobby Brown and them back in the day, bitch. Oh, he was up there doing this shit. Okay? He got the microphone right there, bitch. Okay? Like Janet. Bitch, okay? Britney Spears with hers never on. You know, back in the day. So anyway, he said, can I take a picture with you, Lonnie B? Oh, my God. So I took a picture with them. And bitch, I didn't know the owner of the play was standing directly behind Tamar assistant when he was coming to get the sandwich from me, bitch. And tell me that I couldn't get in. The fucking owner was following that bitch and make sure I wasn't getting in. I said, okay, this don't look safe. You know, I'm here by myself too. Cousins at home, bitch, in the bed, bitches in the middle of the day. It's a Sunday, bitch. They sleep, bitch. Okay, tonight time. That's when they come out and play. I said, I'm leaving. He said, okay, I'll text you. So I get out. I walk out. Security guard said, Hey, where you going? The Snoop Dogg security guy. I said, oh, I'm leaving. They said, I can't get in. He said, huh? I said, yeah. So as soon as I get in the car, they text me. Tamar's assistant. Tamar's going off back here. I said, oh, shit, what happened? She said, she can't believe he didn't let you in. I said, oh, well, tell her don't go off too much. Okay, because, you know, that's her job. And I don't want her to lose her job because the gay man couldn't get in. So I'm going back to my motherfucking hood. Okay? <laughs> bitch, ain't no big deal to me, bitch. I'm heading back to my hood, bitch. Okay? So then, text me again. Tamar quit the play. I said, what? So I said, okay. They lying. She ain't quitting. That's her motherfucking corn. She ain't gonna quit. For no gay man, bitch. She ain't gonna quit no play. That's her corn. That's what I'm saying to myself, bitch. Okay? But they messaged me again. 
one of the ladies that was sitting at the desk that I came in through the back door, she told Tamar's assistant that the owner, which is the owner of the play, he thought that I was a delivery man, bitch, bringing her a sandwich. He didn't know who I was. So I'm saying to myself, why the fuck he didn't ask? You know, hey, sir, who are you? Who are you here with? You know, if he wanted to know. So they say Tamar went off. Tamar left the motherfucking stage, bitch. Went out back. Going, yelling, screaming. Going the fuck off. That was a radio personality. And better yet, that was my motherfucking friend. Going off, bitch, giving Baltimore. Talking to Snoop. In the back of the theater. Bitch. I said, okay. So it was time for me to go to the competition I had to judge. So I came in there, skipping and smiling. They was playing some good music, bitch. And I was snapping my fingers and dancing. One of the girls that was doing Tamar makeup was at the competition. So she came up to me. She said, Lonnie. I said, hey, bitch, good morning. She said, Tamar went the fuck off on them people. I said, how you know? She said, because I was there doing her makeup. She snatched her fucking wig off and left. I said, oh shit, this shit must be true then. She said, she was going off on those people because they wouldn't let you in. I said, oh my God, Tamar's a real bitch. So I said, okay. Well, I hope everything okay. So I text. And I said, I hope everything okay. But I ain't have no service inside the place that I was in, bitch. Service was fucked up last night. So then, it's time for the competition. Did the competition, judged the competition, gave the winners and the trophies to the winners, and we left. Came home. Woke up this morning. Somebody hit me up that went to the play. They said, Lonnie. I said, huh? They said, Tamar was going to fuck off at that play. I said, how y'all know? They said, because somebody that worked there that we know told us. She didn't even come out at the end of the play. I said, did that bitch really quit? So I hit up her assistant. She said, you know, her and Snoop talk. Snoop wanted to come back to the play. It was all a misunderstanding. I said, yeah, tell her to keep her coins. You know, because that's extra money for her. It's okay, and I'm okay. But I respect her for respecting me. She jeopardized her placement in that play all because she felt like I was mistreated. And I respect her for that. She went the fuck off for me because I would have did the same for her. Oh, but she would have got in that play fucking with me. But I respect her for that. You know, you don't find too many people of that level that give a fuck about somebody like me from the internet. But I respect her for that. And I just want to say thank you for being the real one. Because I was always real. And I'm always going to be real with you. Thank you. But everything is under control now. Apologies was made. And forgiveness, forgiveness was given. And I respect her for that. So that's all I had to tell y'all. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for joining us here on Patreon.com slash LonnieBTV, bitch. That bitch said I was a delivery man. Bitch, I had to buy good shit from Marshalls. Good morning. Yes. <laughs>